Hey guys, Allie here. Welcome to episode 59 of Controller Nation Weekly for the week of September 9th, 2012. The Nintendo Wii U received pricing and release info this week. The console will launch in North America on November 18th. There will be two models, an 8GB version that will retail at $300 and a 32GB version that includes the minigame collection Nintendo Land for $350. If you are looking to pre-order the console, you can do so at GameStop as Amazon is not taking pre-orders. What? The Bayonetta sequel that was supposedly cancelled earlier this year is still in development as a Wii U exclusive. PlayStation 3's 4.25 firmware update is live and with it comes the PlayStation Plus cloud storage upgrade from 150 megabytes to 1 gigabyte, which should be more than enough for most. Speaking of Sony, Killzone HD will be available as a standalone download for PSN on October 23rd and will set you back 15 bucks. Terraria is headed to PSN and XBLA in early 2013. If you aren't familiar with the game, it's essentially what Minecraft would be if it were a side-scroller. The game is being published by 505 and is apparently very popular on PC, moving 1.6 million copies. Last week we reported on Insomniac Games' new IP Fuse. This week we can confirm that the game originally called Overstrike is now Fuse. Along with the news came a new trailer, which you can find a link to in the description. We were finally able to check out Steam's Big Picture mode, which hit beta this week, and with the new feature came the news that at some point EA had held talks to acquire Valve for $1 billion. Obviously, the deal fell through, but what is interesting is that Valve CEO Gabe Newell said there was more of a chance that the studio would disintegrate than be sold. Yeah, The Neo Geo X is said to launch in December, and you can get the portable by itself for $130, which is good news for anyone that didn't want to drop $200 on the Gold Edition. Dishonored Rat Assassin has made its way to the iPad. The game is also available for iPhone and iPod Touch and will cost you zero dollars because it's free. Like your mom. MGM has secured the rights to Metro 2033, so if everything goes well, we might actually see a film based on the game that was based on a book. Kojima Productions has opened a studio in LA and is currently hiring for a gameplay programmer. No word yet on what the studio will be working on, but probably Metal Gear something. So that'll end it for this episode. Be one of the cool kids and get social by liking our Facebook and following us on Twitter for updates and junk, and we'll see you here again and again next week. <laughs>